Hey, Dan here. So let me ask you, have you come across any of these really inexpensive lithium-ion batteries uh, from the various Chinese suppliers there? Have you thought, you know, is that actually worth wasting any money on, or is this going to be a fake? Is this going to be a battery filled with sand? A smaller battery in a steel tube? Is it just going to be nothing near the rated capacity there? Is it even worth wasting your time on? Yeah, I have seen some horror stories out there. People have really gotten scammed when they were trying to order batteries. And that would really hurt if you're buying a, a bunch of them at once. <laughs> I figured it was time to find out for myself, since I've got a project coming up where I'm going to need a number of 18650 lithium-ion cells. So I went ahead and ordered an assortment <laughs> of batteries from a couple of different suppliers there. I've got a couple that I've had sitting around uh, that I may know a thing or two about already. Uh, and then I also looked at a couple of alternative sources for the batteries. Mainly a really inexpensive replacement laptop battery pack, which I'll be pulling apart. And I've got a, a used battery pack out of my old laptop here. This thing I know is partly dead. It's probably got at least one dead cell in it. But we'll see if there's anything of use in there. So I'm going to take all of these and I'm going to run them through the paces. I'm going to start by recording, you know, their weight. Because there can be quite a significant difference between these and that might indicate... Uh, you know what we're dealing with <laughs> Whether we're dealing with a smaller battery in a steel tube whether we're dealing with a, a Fake battery that's just filled with sand Or if we've actually got something worthwhile. So the weight might uh, Might be a little bit of an indicator for us. So I'm gonna put these all on the scale. We're gonna record that I'll get them all charged up I'll rip it into these packs and do the same and then I'm gonna run them through a, uh, a capacity test uh, See if I do it once or twice there because it will take quite a lot of time. I've got What's it now? 10 cells, 11. Uh, I've got another one that uh, should be in in a day or two before I'm done with this. <laughs> should have that. We're going to test at least uh, one cell out of here. And if I find some good cells in here, at least one out of here. So this is quite a lot. And considering I have one capacity tester, uh, <laughs> and we're looking at an hour or two each, it's going to take me a little bit of time. Uh, but I'll bring you along. We'll see what we can find out. And we'll see if any of these batteries are worth your money. And if they are, I might be ordering a few. <laughs> All right, so stick around and we'll see what we end up with. So we're back. It's been a little over a week for me here, and I've run all of these batteries you know, through their paces there. Almost all of them have been tested twice there uh, to see what we get at capacity-wise. Under both you know, resistive load, giving us 600 to 780 milliamps of, uh, of draw, and under a constant current load, that was set to 129 milliamps. Just to see if there was a big spread, especially with some of the lower capacity batteries. 
And I think we've got some results here. <laughs> so let's start out with the best performers out of our Chinese batteries. Got these two here. We've got a battery rated 2500 milliamp hours that cost me $1.09. And a battery rated 3,000 milliamp hours that cost me $1.34. Now that's shipped from China, so it's very inexpensive for a lithium ion battery. And what they actually came out to <laughs> was just under 1,200 milliamp hours and just over 1,200 milliamp hours. Uh, specifically, we were reading uh, 1134 and 1257 when I ran these. Now, consequently, these are also the heaviest out of the Chinese batteries that I picked up, which is interesting there. That the mass actually correlates with the uh, the capacity. So, you know, you're still not getting even half of the rated capacity there. But if you know what you're getting into and you just need some cheap batteries, I could see getting by with that. Now, how do you pick these out of any others? Well, you hope that this particular packaging stays the same. <laughs> that they don't start putting this wrap on a different cell. Uh, it does seem like the price did kind of correlate with the, you know, the actual capacity. For a battery that's not ridiculously over-listed and actually costs a little bit more than the dollar a cell, that's pretty much where these landed. So let's move on to the, uh, <laughs> the really terrible performers. Uh, we've got quite a few that did not show any promise at all. <laughs> uh, let me grab them here. So we've got a number of them. that were in the 400 milliamp hour range. <laughs> and these batteries are marketed as, you know, a 4 amp hour, 4,500 and 4,900 milliamp hour, and a 9,800 milliamp hour battery. This is also one of our lightest batteries here. The rest, not so much. But these were some of our worst performers. Not worth your money. <laughs> you know, 430 milliamp hours on some of these, 400 milliamp hours, yeah, what's the point? This huge package? Why aren't you using a small battery? And that could be what we've got here. I'm going to crack a couple of these open and see if we've in fact got uh, lower capacity batteries inside of a, uh, a steel tube there. Now I checked these all with a magnet just to see if anything was uh, obviously different there. I couldn't tell any difference. So they all have a steel casing. You know, I know that much. So after that, we've got just a lot of mediocre batteries that I wouldn't want to bother with. Up in the 700 milliamp hour range, 650, yeah, 710, 740, not worth your money. And these, the only good performer out of the higher rated batteries is this guy here. Which is interesting because it's almost the same packaging, same branding. As the other guy here, the 9800 and the 9900, big difference in the weight of the two. But this 9900 milliamp hour battery only actually provided uh, 1011, <laughs> so it's a one amp hour battery. Also cost a dollar thirty, so it cost more than our better performers that were rated more reasonably. So as far as the the Chinese batteries go, my conclusion. <laughs> Only if you really need it. Otherwise, they're kind of a waste of your time. You know, a lot of these... A lot of these I wouldn't even use for one of my bananas. Now, on to the laptop batteries. We've got the cells that I pulled out of an old, very used Sony uh, pack. They were coming up... Uh, What's this now? About 722 milliamp hours each. I actually ended up uh, putting those together in a pack here. Uh, we've got another one here, which I can't remember which laptop this came out of, but I pulled a few cells out of a pack. Uh, this one read you know, around 906 milliamp hours, well below its original rating. Uh, this was... let's see, let's see. Yeah, this is originally a 1350 milliamp hour battery, so it kind of... Sits in line with a battery that's been through a uh, you know a long life of use there. Yeah, the laptop batteries really get uh, really get hammered there. <laughs> yeah, people leave the laptop plugged in all the time. It's drained down all the time. It really depends on how 
Uh, how did the protection circuitry is to try and keep these things working? But okay, that's a, a well used laptop battery. But we do have a clear winner. <laughs> we have our Yik Lick brand laptop batteries that I pulled out of one uh, a pack here. Which are rated uh, 2200 milliamp hour by the manufacturer. And when I tested them, I uh, ran at 2210 milliamp hour. So I cranked up the current even higher. You know, I brought this onto a uh, one amp with the constant current load, 2145 milliamp hour. So these are excellent cells. They're doing exactly what I need. I I'm not going to test them at, uh, you know, double their, uh, their rate of capacity. I'm not going to try and run these at four amps or anything like that. I don't have any uh, need for a battery that's going to give that much. Uh, instantaneous current but the capacity is right where it should be and these blow away every other cell that I bought from China none of them hit the 2200 milliamp hour mark none of them hit the 2000 milliamp hour mark even and then there's the cost this entire pack of eight cells and a protection board ran me what was this five dollars five dollars fifty cents so on top of being better than all the Chinese batteries they're cheaper <laughs> So I immediately went on Amazon after figuring this out, and I ordered, what's it, four more packs from that manufacturer. Some of them in the same style, some a bit different. Some of them came with little uh, useless knickknacks like branded mice and so forth. Don't really care about that. <laughs> but I found a cheap source of cells uh, that'll do what I need. So I've already thrown together a quick, uh, you know, two parallel, two series pack out of the old Sony batteries. And I throw on a battery protection board that I have and I've wired this up. I'm just gonna keep this around for powering little projects, you know, plug in the Arduino and run it off of this. Uh, once I'm finished testing this to make sure the cells are well enough balanced and this board's gonna keep them balanced, I'm gonna uh, <laughs> pull a page from Win uh, Rinoa's book and duct tape the hell out of it. <laughs> of course, I've got, uh, I printed off some little frames to hold everything together. But yeah, this is my new source of batteries for now until I find something better. Uh, if I found someone selling bulk Yiklik batteries, I might buy, geez, 40 or 50 of them. Yeah, if the price was right. Uh, but I took a look around. I didn't see the manufacturer selling them on their own. Uh, in fact, the only site where I found them being sold directly from the manufacturer, their minimum order quantity was 10,000. A little bit out of, uh, out of my scope there. <laughs> so for now, I'll just keep buying cheap replacement laptop batteries and ripping them apart for what I need. So let's get on to the autopsy, because we want to take a look at what's inside one of these really terrible cells. So let me pick the worst of the worst. Let's see.